Just having fun with um, a little bit of a challenge incorporation here. In this video, I'll give you an exercise that's going to change your soloing game completely. If you're used to soloing like you have a jam track or you're playing with the, the, the band, and then the solo starts and then the solo ends. And in between that time frame, you just do everything you can to play something interesting. Then this video is for you. Because what we, we seek to do here is to be acutely sensitive to when the chords are shifting in the background. And if you're playing over a chord progression and there's suddenly a difficult chord that doesn't fit the scale you're using, then when are you going to know when that scale comes? You know, we can come up with all kinds of tools. We're using different pentatonic scales. We can use the arpeggios like we did in the first uh, video in this series. We can use the chord notes, right, of that alien chord that comes in there. But how are you going to use that if you don't know when the chord is coming? And if, if you have to use all your focus to kind of listen for the chords in the background, and then, yeah, there it is. Let me use my chord notes or my tool for that specific chord. Then you won't really be free to solo, will you? <laughs> right? So what we need to develop is a sense of where we are timing-wise in the solo. So it just comes natural to us to feel that chord coming without really thinking about it. I hope that makes sense. So it really is such an essential part of being a soloing master. And you can develop that skill pretty quickly and pretty easily as well. So this is a major shift in this little short video here. This simple exercise is a huge shift in how you solo and, and what you are able to do. But what we're focused on here is to be able to identify when that alien chord comes up. And with the exercise that then focuses on that comes a huge amount of other value which will enable you to really target where you are in the chord progression. And the simplest of, um, of, of ways to illustrate that is if you play a simple blues progression like right in the background. lame chord progression but then of course I'm in E blues here right so I'm gonna use my E blues here and if I'm just playing across all these chords with no you know I don't really know what chords are playing in the background I just enjoy playing my blues scale then it's gonna sound something like this you know blah 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 because I don't I'm not really focused on the course when I start focusing on the course and really listening in the beginning in this exercise more for the course than I am for what I'm playing so I'm playing something very simple okay we're the first chord right second chord back to the first then the fifth something very simple and here comes the dominant you, you hear the whole difference of what we do here you, you now you're talking music right now you can play with the chord progression instead of just blah blahing across it right so now you make sense And here comes the song. <laughs> and, and it really becomes such a joy to solo because now we're speaking music instead of firing off licks on top of a chord progression. But this is just the blues, right? You can practice with that. But uh, the main exercise here is really taking four chords like... using my looper pedal to play A minor, D minor, and G, and then C. I'm just going to use the C major pentatonic or the A minor pentatonic, same thing, same scale. But what I do then when I play the, the track here is I just play a simple chord 
So it's really obvious when the chords are shifting, right? So I'm helping myself here. And then I go. Right? So I'm really being acutely sensitive to what's going on. And uh, while I'm doing it, I might as well see if I can focus on the cool notes that sound good with the chords and really being sensitive to that. So, A minor again. So it's so simple. I'm really, I'm only focusing on the chords. See, what happens if I do that for long enough and I keep meditating musically on the chords? Then suddenly I start playing more complex stuff. So I'm really, I'm using my ear to find the right note and I'm really focusing on the chords, and that makes me produce something extremely simple in the beginning, and then gradually... Right? And in the beginning, I'm kind of holding, I'm taking a little break, right? I play a little stuff, and then a new chord comes, I play some stuff, take a break. Play some stuff, take a break. So I'm I'm marking out each chord. Right? Sounds like this. That's what I did in the beginning. So Right? So I'm really acknowledging the chords. Then gradually as you become better, and that happens automatically, while you still focus on the chords, you start playing more complex stuff, and the final really uh, the final level is when you start crossing from chord to chord. So you don't stop your lines, you go from playing like I used to do, or just across all chords. But now instead of having that, you know, indifference around what is actually going on in the background, I'm actually still playing the chords. I'm just playing longer lines that crosses from one chord to another. But I still have that sense of where I am. And now the whole focus of focusing on the chords becomes unconscious with time, if you do this enough. And you don't have to focus on it anymore. But it's just like when you play solo, you cannot not be in the chord progression. So if I tell you suddenly that, you know, the third chord in this chord progression is an alien chord, and I think you should use an A flat diminished arpeggio over that, you look down and say, okay, where is the A flat? It's right there, right? But how are you going to know when that chord is coming by if you don't have this sense of where you are? But once you have, can do this, we can start talking about all kinds of cool tools we can use to play over all kinds of alien chords within chord progressions, and we're really ready to have that conversation. So, but you know, the advantages of doing this exercise are just crazy. You, you go from sounding like an amateur when you solo and just blah blahing across chord progressions to really making sense. But start so simple when you solo with just a couple of notes, just marking the chords with one or two notes. And then build from there, keeping a, a, a hysterical attention on the chord progression. And then gradually, that becomes easier and easier, so you start playing more and more complex things. But you do not lose your focus on the chord progression. That's the exercise. So don't forget to subscribe and go download our free course by clicking the link just below here. And I really look forward to seeing you in another video here on YouTube.